wrong, wrong beat. Welcome, Welcome to, to the, the gospel, gospel party. party. Welcome to the gospel party. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody, welcome to the gospel party. I'm your coach, girl. You bet. Glad to be here with you. Glad to party with y'all, and glad to give it up to Jesus. Amen. In the name of Jesus, can't wait to continue the party. What's up? I am the Dad, and this is the gospel party. Tune in every Sunday, boy. Yeah. Hello, everybody. This is Priscilla, also known as DJ Sweetie. I want y'all to come out and check us out. You're watching the gospel Somebody party. Up in here oh. Hi, my name is Brianna, and I'm interning for DJ Slack. And welcome to the gospel party. You are listening to oh. Girls Place Kids. What's Secret. up, y'all? This is your oh, boy Fudge, hey. and you're listening to the <laughs> gospel party. Yeah, baby. Yo, what's going on? This your man, Constant Battle, and right now you're checking out the gospel Somebody party, all right? Yo, what's up? This your boy Israel Ghetto Gospel. You already know. Welcome to the gospel party. We in here. Yeah. Hey, yo, Tone. Yo, it's your boy you DJ Hooty from Unseen Vision TV, and you're watching Hi. right now the gospel my name party. Is Tony, Peace. And you're listening to my day, DJ Tony Tone. What's up, fam? This is Gospel Party. Amen. Hallelujah. You can check us out at 9 a.m. and 5 p.m. You're watching the gospel party. Welcome to the Gospel Party, Hall of Lanes Radio.com. I'm your host, Willie A. And I am your co-host, Shirley Beck. I am the big dapper dog. Oh. We want to welcome you to the Gospel Party. We're here every Sunday, 7 p.m. to 9 p.m. Also, Time Warner Cable Channel 20, Friday, 5, no, 9 a.m. and 5 p.m. Helping you get your play party on. Welcome yeah. to the Gospel Party. Woo. Mm. To the gospel party, baby. Yeah, we in the church. Amen. We are not godly search. Amen. Getting in that holy word. Amen. Yeah. Woo. And the church say. And the church say. Amen. Alrighty, this is the Gospel Party Hall of Lanes Radio.com and the place to be, y'all. I'm taking out my my boys on um, 91.3 FM. That's James um, Braun and Carl Salahan. I hope I pronounced that right. Got them on now, so checking you guys out. Was setting up for the Gospel Party. You guys sound. I heard um, you guys speaking. You sound really good on the microphone. So. All right, but at business at large, we're in Buffalo, New York, and that lady you see right there is Evangelist Show Yvette, and we got the big Dapper Don in the background. Yes, handling all the good yeah, stuff. Yeah, look like he's making a meal once again. Yes, always, um, always eating. She, yeah, yeah. <laughs> So that um, actually works with the topic that we're going to go into tonight, okay. but I'll, I'll hold off for a moment, though. Okay. All right, y'all, so this is the God's Party, all the radio.com. Um, you can check us out every Sunday, 7 p.m. to 9 p.m. Um, we're just chilling out today. Now, um, I, I think um, show we got something planned for us. I do. Yeah. I actually, it actually is nice. Well, it's a little cool, but it's nice at Buffalo. The sun is out. Um, we wanted to come out, but. Shell says it's a little chilly, so a little chilly out today. I, I said I'll, I'll wait till it get warm. Yeah, maybe maybe next week it'll yeah. be a little warmer. Yeah, outside. Yeah. I can't be so, sick. Yeah, now because once we come out, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna set up the DJ console. Oh boy! I'll, I'll let um, Shell and them. Um, be, Shell and, I'm gonna scratch it up one time for y'all. Yeah, you can scratch it up one okay. time. Then maybe get <laughs> let Dab get on a little bit, see what he can do. Uh, <laughs> <yeah. laughs> you scared? You scared? Challenge. And we. And we uh, <laughs> Yeah, 
Uh, oh, you gotta hear this song. I hope I'm able to play it before we. And um, you know Mary Mary, right? Indeed. Mary Mary. Yeah. Well, Erica, one and a half of Mary Mary went on her own. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I heard they beefing her. Yeah, but she got this kicking song, man. Oh my yeah. God. Um, um, love. Do you love God? It's L L O V. Do you love God? And it's smoking. All right, we gotta it's check smoking. it out. It's smoking. The kids love it. Banging. In the our heads banging in the car. Right. So, and I, I'm gonna play that um, probably before we end the show tonight. Erica, um, Erica. No, I'm thinking my cousin. <laughs> well, her first name is Erica. So, yeah, we'll check that out. So, wait, none of their names, Mary. No. Ain't that about? No, no. That's just a <laughs> stage name, Mary, Mary. Um, so, no, none of them. I like Dapper Dawn. You know how yeah, it Right, yeah, yeah. stage, stage name, know, yeah. DJ nice. Slack, you know, stage name. Fire nice. Yeah, <laughs> 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 right, 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 stage <laughs> name. So, just to get another so this is the God's Party. I'm happy to be back with um, my crew here, yeah, Dapper Dawn, and so yeah. but they were Boy, on location. And, well, yeah, oh tell us God. about what you guys were at, what you was doing. Yeah, tell me. Well, we went to... Well, we went to go do some visiting because my husband is always saying, you don't know anybody. You don't know your family. You don't mingle. You don't talk to anybody. Right. And, you know, you're so distant from everybody. That's one, of the topics, that's one of the topics that we want to speak about tonight as well. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Family. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. You know? That's a good mm -hmm. topic, man. Mm -hmm. Very good topic. So I've been we, dealing with that myself, family. Matter of fact, we, every now and then, because me and Kim is, you know, my, my, me and my wife trying to work it out and. The family now. The family is because you know he was work, though? what prayer right now. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. excellent. Excellent. Mm. All right. Big Dapper Dawn. Big Dapper Dawn. Woo! And we were like, <laughs> <laughs> look at us judge, being judgmental. I know. I know. Judging a book by his cover, but, he, but was, he was right though. Right. He was so absolutely. So you brought yeah. up. You went right. Yeah. Lord, thank you for this day that we have never seen before and that we will never see again. Lord, just thank you for, we we thank you for our, our families today, Lord, that you have touched and woke up and guided to the this day, you know what I'm saying, you, you had a, head of, a hedge of protection around us, Lord, and just keep that hedge of protection around us throughout the day, don't let no hurt, harm, or danger come to us, Lord, keep us safe, keep our enemies away from us, Lord, and uh, don't let no hurt, harm, or danger come to us. And if any of our family or any of you out there that is sick, Lord, touch them from the top of their head to the sole of their feet, inside and out, Lord. And when you do these things, not even when you do these things, because even if you don't do these things, we know Hallelujah. that we're going to give you the praise, the honor, and the glory anyway. But, Lord, that's what they say. When you do these things, we give your name, the praise, the honor, and the glory. But, Lord, I'm going to give you praise anyway. But in Jesus' name, I pray. Amen. 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 Praise God. Uh, we got the radio on in the background. I did that intentionally because you have uh, Carl and James, uh, two friends of mine. I told them I would um, check them out. So they're on um, Radio 91.3. And if you guys, uh, anybody out there live want to check out, they play eclectic music from hip hop, pop rock, everything. Everything in the middle, over the edges, they'll play it all. So. But they're a good friend of mine. Both of them been um, very good. They've been kind of like you, mm -hmm. Cheryl and Dap. Um, very good friend of mine. You so. got other friends besides us? Yeah. You know, the no. Bible says, don't make, don't make him a jealous guy. You know, you got to choose whom you're going to work with. <laughs> choose this day who you're going to be friends with. No, but they, they, they good. it's good to no have. No pun intended. It's, it's good to have um, no. cal um, good, um, counselors. Um, no, that's right. We're supposed to have friends. Absolutely. So, they're good friends, and I'm I'm happy for them. They're on 91.3, right. and they're doing their thing. We're doing our gospel party, so yeah. um, I'm happy about that. All right, I'm going to let you... Uh, and we got another topic oh. that me and... Oh, go, you know, go ahead. We're going to do the gospel party. We're going to keep oh. doing the gospel party, you well. know what I'm saying? Because this is what we love to do, you know what I'm saying? We love to entertain. Well. But, you know, me and Wifey, we're trying to hook up with Harlem Lanes and see if we can get... You know, our own show. Oh, nice. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Good. It's called, what is it called, babe? Spouse. Spousal. Spousal. Spousal Radio. Spouse Radio. Spouse Radio. Spouse Radio. Okay. You know what I'm saying? What, what's, that, what's that about? It's just, you know, us, you know what I'm saying? We giving spousal, you know. We're we giving advice, advice to people. And, you know, all time. But the, the, the like catch to it is. But, the, you know. <laughs> The catch to it is, usually when right. you go so to a counselor, you're looking for someone who has 
an education right. who is either uh, maybe a pastor or someone who is well versed and understand. And we were thinking, what better people to is actually they playing LL <laughs> after I was just about to jump out the window? <laughs> What better I people to you. help with counseling? I mean, you should always go to your pastors first. But what other, what better couple to listen to than someone that's actually going through the issue? Right, right. And that's kind of and what we're looking we're at from the, the issue. issue. Like, with, you, know, you know, do you stay right together? Now, Don't you stay together? Right, I'm I'm you know, what do you right do now, when you're upset with each other? That, you know, that we're mending. Right. We're working on building friendship. Right. We're building friendship. In because this? we have a lot of things that we have to you, you guys, do. Have, I mean, we still have small children, but whether yeah. your children get older, you know, that's irrelevant. You're always going to have to be parents. So you have to learn how to and at the same get time, along with each other. What we're giving them is free 99. You know what I'm saying? You ain't got to go pay a counselor or psychiatrist. We're going to give it to you free. Because sometimes you really don't need right. counseling. Right. You know what I'm saying? Who better off? Because. My motto is she know. Can't nobody change my marriage but me. Right. You can't tell me how to change my marriage. Because I'm always, I used to always say, well, let's go to counseling. That's right. my right. biggest right. thing. And like, I'm I was like, like right. we know, what if you, if you don't, I, I don't know how to fix a car though. You know, so if I don't know how to fix a car, I'm right. going to take it to a mechanic. You take it to the mechanic. Now, let me ask you this question because I well, want It's just in the development stage. We're right. just thinking through it. Right. Now, because I'm been, still our idea. I, I've been, <laughs> I've been through. Um, oh shoot! I'm sorry, we're not guys. Recording. We're not we, we're recording, but they haven't even seen us yet. Hi. How y'all doing? I'm sorry. I'm I got a brain fart there. I'm sorry about that, big guy in the background. Yeah. This is, my name is Willie H D J Slack and Evans Charlie um, Vet. We just and we y'all heard us in the background, so y'all heard what we was talking about. Um, but um, yeah, so what I want to ask them was that with the spouse spousal counseling. Because uh, been, we've been, me and my wife been through many counselors. Did you learn anything from the counselor? No, we actually well, we, We've never did been. Did you learn? We're not, we don't We've never know. been to counseling. Oh, we never been. Okay. I, okay. Well, so I have. I, I have, but mm -hmm. most of the stuff. You already knew. Most of it I already knew. And then some stuff sounded kind of way off. It wasn't, some of the stuff wasn't. wasn't pertaining to you and your wife. Oh, some wasn't, it wasn't pertaining, but some wasn't very biblical. Mm. Mm. You know, some mm -hmm. some of the stuff that was given, it, it sound practical. Right, right. But it was, some of it wasn't biblical. Um, but is biblical. the counseling mm -hmm. based on biblical rights? Well, it depends on who you go to. So right. some, some were, and even the ones that were, uh, they helped very little. I think that, like you guys said, what, what happened with counseling is that the two got to somehow get together and talk. That's right. And go through some stuff, and their mind has to be kind of, change mm -hmm. i think his biggest issue was choosing the right person to do counseling because his his the, one of the things i know you had brought up was what if they take your side or what if they take my side and you want to go to somebody that's neutral but then when you find somebody that's neutral it's like they don't know any, enough about you to talk to you about the core so, issues because you don't really want to share right. so what you have to do is what you have to do is you know your wife your wife knows you Mm -hmm. Right? Mm -hmm. So what y'all need to do is just come to a common ground of communication. I know. Okay, when are we going to sit down and talk? Let's sit down and talk. What's your problem? I know you say that, and uh, you probably hear a lot of other people, even when, when they get married, they'll go, um, I know we got to communicate. Right. But it's broad hard to term. It's Right. It's a broad I'm, term. It's a broad term because it's hard to communicate when you don't really want to deal with the person. Mm -hmm. You don't want to talk. You, and you should be okay, honest, you be honest so, about that. So, because it's so there you, you know don't want to... Okay, so there, there you know, to me, if I don't want to communicate with you, either either we're going to separate mm -hmm. right, until we can come together to communicate. Because, for one, communication is going to have to come in there somehow, Some, somehow someway, now, even with the counselor or without a right, and, and, right. And for me, and probably a lot other people, that's how the communication came. We had to separate. Right. right. Something had to happen, happen for us to really get out of ourselves and then look look at... see the forest for the tree. Right. Type of look thing. at me, look at her, mm -hmm. and say, well, hold on, there were some things that you might have did wrong that wasn't quite right, and then some maybe some misunderstanding she didn't understand. Sure. So, you, you're right when you say, you will have to come, mm -hmm. but... We're hoping that you don't have to separate, but usually 
something has to happen something for the, the two people, or at least one, to take it. Oh, no, the two. I'm going to because they need two. Yeah. The two people to take it seriously and say, you know what? Mm-hmm. We really got to communicate. What you got to realize is, okay, from one, you got to say, is this marriage worth saving? And can you even Amongst ask the two? But can you even ask that question yeah. if you're a Christian? Because that's actually no. not a question. If you it's are not a Christian. question. If you right. read that book, it's, it's not a question. We can't. We can't. You're not supposed to. The wife you can't get rid of her or the man unless they committed adultery. Right. That's, that's the it. only way that and, you can throw and, away. And it doesn't then mean it that because a person separate. committed adultery that you get rid of them. That's the thing I always like to put in there. Well, it's, even though it's a it's a clause. Jesus said, I gave you that because Moses asked for that on y'all behalf. Yes, but yes, I don't, yes, he's not saying that he agrees with that. Yeah, yeah. You know what right, I'm saying? He's right. not saying, he said, I'm giving you this because I love you so y'all can be able to, right. you know. And and, and, he, and he also said, because the old tells you, he said, and I gave you that way out because y'all so hard. I don't want so y'all to hurt. I don't want y'all to hurt. You're going to end up killing each other right. if I don't. You know? <laughs> and he's like, I already said thou should not commit murder. You know? <laughs> and y'all going to be killing each right, other. Right, know? right, So, so that's the reason so, that close. Right? And, and that's where it it comes to, you know what I'm saying? Because you have a lot of, you have a lot of uh, married people that separate not even over uh, uh, infidelity, right. you know what I'm saying? Yeah. It's finances, right. and finances. other children yeah. coming in, Babe. or or they separate for just anything. Anything right. nowadays, right. Any, any, anything comes along. You, you know, know what I'm saying? Well, I think the term yeah. is irreconcilable differences when you go into court, and they really can't define what it is because you know you're so angry with each other, and the judge is asking you, well, what is the particular issue? If it's a money thing, you can put that on the table. I can show you. Um, his financial records, my financial records, and say, I'm divorcing him because he can't keep the bills paid or what have you. Mm -hmm. But I can't go into court and say, I have this animosity in my heart. Can you look at this piece right here? That's something that only I can feel. You can't go into court and say, this is his his financial, and this is mine. That's not a grounds Uh, for a divorce. I just meant that it was something concrete. Money is concrete. That's not concrete. Yeah, it is, because I can tell you if you're making... No, I I was just talking about what's concrete. You know what they got in court? This right here. Closed, though. They no. had it closed. But it doesn't make no difference. <laughs> they don't have it open. Is this, is they're, this not still, court, they're not in court like they this. Well, they, the word right. they will still make you put your hand on that door. Right. 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 It only but means like something. Said, it only means something but if you, you have do understanding. That. You cannot do that. By us being Christians, if we're we Christians, cannot, though, that means that we're taking away and adding to the Bible. Oh, which we he, cannot do. Yeah, if you take away an ad, oh, you and, and that's Adriel my fire. that's my that's my clause. That's my pet peeve with the law. Period. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? They'll make you do this. Mm-hmm. Touch the even, Bible. Even even in crimes, they make you do that when you the have this regular Bible. crime. Do they you put, promise but to tell they the, don't truth, go the, the truth? Book. Nothing but the truth. Right. Why would so why help you God? That, right. So why put that in in the courtroom? When really you're not going by the book. So that's a whole nother topic that I would love to discuss one yeah. day about that whole court please and yeah. the Bible. That's 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 such a big topic, but just kinda of getting back to the family piece, Right, yeah. You know, I think that we have to go and do what the Bible tells us to do, which is pray. Which is pray. The Bible says pray without ceasing. That's right. It gives us instructions on how to keep the word. On right. how to he, he he's if you love me keep my commandments. Especially if you if, love God, then, you know, like we were like Sunday school lesson today, how can you say that you love you God, God who you ain't never, never seen, seen but you can't even love your brother? That's your brother, crazy. and then a couple weeks ago we talked about love your neighbor as yourself and we talked about the fact that your neighbor isn't the person that lives next door to you, it's anybody. Anybody that walk up on the street and ask you for something. Mm. Oh yeah, that's what happened in Atlanta. <laughs> Why don't you tell us that story about yeah, your tell, neighbor? Tell us. What, what happened in you that? You know, we were in Atlanta having a good time. It's one of the days. It was like, what, the last day? Yeah. We was out, and it was nice and beautiful. And we went downtown Atlanta, you know what I'm saying, to the Ferris wheel. For those that know about Atlanta, they know about the Ferris wheel, the, the little uh, sprinkler park and all that stuff. So we're, we're getting out the car. Now, we got an out-of-town plate on the car. You know what I'm saying? We had a rental. But this guy don't know. This guy didn't know not nothing about us. He didn't even probably know if we was out of town. Or not. He didn't know but, which car we got out of. Right. We at but, the parking when, meter. but we was at when he walked up to me and mm-hmm. asked me 
He said, yo, do you have a, a extra pair of socks? Mm. He asked me for an extra pair of socks. And you know what? See, me, meh, my heart is, you know, I don't care. I, but he asked me for an extra pair of socks. And I looked at him like, what? I ain't got an extra pair. You know, he looked it all right to me. Who carries but socks? when you down in Atlanta, it's a lot of homeless that sleep, that sleep on the street that look kind of okay. No. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? But he looked and he was like, pair of socks. And I was like, and I was going to say, nah, I ain't got nothing. But I couldn't even lie. Because all my clothes was in the car. Oh, so you yeah, have an extra pair of socks. <laughs> yeah. I did have an extra pair. Good, good. So, you know, when he asked, yeah, he asked the right person. He asked the right person. The right person. But, but listen to this. he was driving, he could not have, like, scoped right, us right. out type of a right, day. Right, right. Because he just pulled up and he was done. He, he just was, walked. He just walked. Walk so, you know, why would he ask me for a pair of socks? An extra you pair of like socks. You feel like that was a test? You it had. Like but look at, look at, look at God, though. So I said, you know what? <laughs> All right. So I went and I said, yo, you got some drawers, some clean drawers? He was like, no, nah, man. I said, you know, I, all my stuff in there clean. Now, was he about yourself? A little bit smaller. Small. A little bit smaller. Okay. You know but what I'm saying? Close enough. So I gave, gave him the socks. I gave him a pair Underwear. of drawers. I gave him a shirt. Wow. I gave him Short. shorts. Wow. And I gave him sneakers. So you know, you he, and, and, my sneakers, sneakers, and the sneakers fit him. Yo. His shoes were <laughs> so tight. He was, I said, his feet I said, were I looked at him. I said, yo, man, you gotta. Uh, I said, yo, what size yeah. shoe you wear? He said, now he don't know what size I wear. He said a twelve. Twelve, right off the bat. I said, you lying, man. <laughs> I, I didn't want to get my you lying. Up. <laughs> that was lying. the best. God was giving like, sneakers. I wear twelve, man. I said, all right. Then I reached in and pulled him out a crispy pair of white Adidas, man. Oh, he was like, man. he started crying. Oh, man. He started crying. He said, man, he took the shoes off right there. He said, man, bro, my feet hurt so bad in these shoes. And he put them joints on me. He crying, and I'm I'm about to tear up. You know what I'm saying? Like, and Cheryl gave him two dollars of money. I put See, y'all always say I'm be giving. Like, boom, I felt that. I felt that thing. You know, mm -hmm. slapped him up, man. He went up. He went away. Happy crying, he said, Man, God bless you, man. Bye, 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 bye. Wasn't it look, beautiful? But look, the next day, what happened? We walk to the house, we get in the house, sure open the door, and it's a check in the mail. <laughs> but listen, not just that, right? <laughs> check in the mail. Why we go out to these people, we we're supposed to do it. Before the trip. Before we left. You know what I'm saying? Before we the kept trip. Kept getting distracted. Kept getting distracted and all that. I got a job. Immediately. Immediately. Oh, the very no, next day. The very next day. If he hadn't given those do, things. You do God's work and God take care of you. Come on, man. <laughs> That's good. I like that. I like that. For, you have to be so grateful for what God blesses you with. Right. But you cannot be stingy about it. Right. Yeah, but listen, my mother and my father. Right, right. I didn't realize it right. until, until today. today. And he just Ooh, told me to do Look, I said, babe, because something was said in church. And I was like, I blessed that, that guy with that stuff. Right. And I came back to a job. job. And his, you know, his he situation, just he up. Up. this is good, y'all. Now, this is this is how God works. This, this, yes. this is this is how this God. Is God. The story you just heard is how God. Yeah. You take care of God's business, meaning that that they could have pushed that, him rushed him off as right. nah. uh, drug somebody drug bomb, bomb. Mm -hmm. but all the things came together. So, and, I, and I'm convinced that that was God. That was an angel. That, that was a. I don't know it, it says, it says but I do know that, that was God. You don't know who you're in it. Right, right. But I do believe that was a God ordained yeah. meeting where God wanted to meet a need, mm -hmm. shadow and um, that that had the need. They met it. Mm -hmm. They was obedient to it. Mm -hmm. To down to the specific. That twelve. Mm -hmm. That was a specific man, mm -hmm. and they gave, and God said, okay. Okay, you, you get it. my will, you, you pass the test. That's it. I'm going to take care. And, and check, check, job. check. And you know, he That's how you work, sir. Another scripture that came to my mind was the Lord says, if you, I think he was being questioned, you know, somebody bothering you or asking you, what do you give them? He said, if somebody asks you for your coat, 
you give them the coat and the cloak. Right. You know what I'm saying? Stop being so stingy. And a right. lot of times we have it. And you know how I am with sneakers. And we, I I'm know, like, oh. it was, I know it was, I know it was right here, right was, here. But you know what though? <laughs> I did not give like this. No, 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 no. no, no. You don't give me questions. Let's get another principle because I want everybody to get this now. Mm-hmm. Dad gave up a good pair of sneakers that he liked. Yeah. That was kind of true to his heart. So, you take your favorites on the show. So, <laughs> another principle here, and I, that's probably why God blessed him so richly. Mm-hmm. He gave mm-hmm. something that was worth something. Right. And he gave it to somebody. And what God said, okay, I feel you, brother. Yeah. You do that. I'm going to give you something that you yeah. really need. That yeah. you yeah. give. And, and it shall be given to you. Good message. Press down, down, shake it together, together, and run it over. Hallelujah. Did you, did you realize what happened? She did. Oh, you didn't that day? When, when, when we when went to Atlanta? Carol gave his um, s- sneakers. Remember the and gentleman sh- came up and daddy and asked he gave, That was huge. That was big. big but big. that's the way God wants to work with us. He wants us to be a bit. A lot of times we're not a bit. Right. A lot of stuff that happens, like we go to church, that, that's good. Right, go all to that, church. All that's good. Class, but that's, that's good. not all that God wants You're from preaching. us. You're talking right he now. He wants us to be obedient. He said move, we move. And then that's we it. do what he says, we're obedient, and then he's going to bless us. Right. And it's not over. It's, it's, not, not, it's not over. It's, it's, it's not, not over. over. It's, that's just the tip of the iceberg. Right. You know, and I love the story of an iceberg. You know, when you think about an iceberg, they're so big and they're so beautiful. They're so majestic almost. Mm-hmm. And they're just huge pieces of ice on top of of the seas, and that's only about 10%. Amen. The, the other 90% of the iceberg mm-hmm. is mm-hmm. under the sea. Now, let Isn't me, that phenomenal? L- l- let me give a little testimony. It's not great as y'all, but I have been giving my time like, to my family, which I should anyway. Right. Because there's, there's been the last couple of weeks, you know, they said, well, no, don't, Daddy, don't uh, plan another job. We need you to do this. Mm-hmm. And I was kind of like, I need the money. Need the money. But yeah. I said, you, no, let me do that. I'm supposed to sweat my, well, that's moving, my wife moving. Mm-hmm. So I've been doing some things. Now, um, just because I was obedient to that, um, my finance is not lacking. Mm-hmm. All right. Thank you, God. That's huge. So my, that's huge. my car moves got paid. My, right. You know, and even though I didn't make the, the, the money to get it, I, I, I don't think I'm paid for it. Wow. So, that goes to show when we're obedient to what how God wants us to operate, mm-hmm. that's why we can't live in fear either. That's right. Right. That's right. We can't live in fear because that's not fear. God wants to live by faith, meaning, okay, mm-hmm. I'm going to give, and right. I know God's going to take care of me, and that's the way. You can't give expecting God to give back to you. You mm-hmm. have to give out the goodness of okay. your heart. Right. You right. can have the expectation that I know that when I bless other people, God God's will God's going to take care of me. Right. He's going to take care right. of me. Right. You can't plan God out. Exactly, I like you know, that. That's good too. People try to, and we do that too. Buy. We do that too. Yes, yeah, sometimes no, no, try to that's catch why, that that's why. That's why. That's why. When I did that and I walked off, you know, I was thinking, "Wow, I just gave away." <laughs> I'm thinking. I'm like, man, I just gave away PhD. I man. was thinking you didn't but, have a job. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, well, I don't know I how do you're that. gonna get it back. I do that a lot, but, but you know what, though, when I walk, when I was walking, mm-hmm. and I was thinking, I was like, wow. So now I'm like this, Lord. Hey, you know what I need, right? But I'm looking around like this, because I always watch the ground. I watch the ground. I'm looking for money now. I'm like, I done gave you guys my shoes. I'm, I'm <laughs> looking for something. I'm Girl. like, I'm my shoes. <laughs> but I, I think there should be some expectations. Yeah. I think yeah. there should be looking. Yeah, yeah. Like, I know, I know God's going to come me. through. Yeah. Yeah. But you know what, though? But I didn't realize. I've been working for a week and didn't realize it until today. <laughs> until today that. That's what God did. That's, that's what, what did. God did. That's, that's what, what he did. did. Because I came home. Didn't even two know. Jobs, didn't even realize. I, you know, we was. I was like this. You know, when we get home, babe, you know what I'm saying? I'm going to go to the uh, agency. I already signed up with the agency. I'm just going to call, put my name on, back on the list Monday, and, and, and wait for them to call me. Right. But then I said, you know what? Let's go down. I'll to the place, go fill out the application. Boo, 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 Some boo. friends of ours called out right. the blue one day, a couple weeks back. Yeah. And they said, hey, would you guys be interested in a job? You know, 
um, and they gave us the details about it. They said that a couple could work this position or it could just be, you know, whatever. And at the time, you know, I really, I, I, I'm not looking for a job per se, you know, maybe in the next few weeks or so. But that, at that time, I wasn't looking for work. And when he went in to get the job, we went in like, well, you know, let's not act like we're all that and like we can't work anything because see, when you think you're too good for something God won't let you get your foot in the door mm -hmm. and sometimes people will be like oh I have a degree in this or I have these credentials or I have that but when you humble yourself you don't know what door God might open for you and when like he said when he went in there to get the job it was all it was like it was handed to him I really the guy looked that. at me and was I'm like, man, like, you don't really want to. I'm work, looking like, you know? look, they ain't even going to give me no job. Or the job <laughs> is going to be, listen, or the yeah. job is going to be five. Five. You got to work the prop. Get it. Right. So I'm like, man, as soon as I sat down, he was like, and you know, I got, listen, I got a record. He knows. got a felony right now, a fresh one. Mm -hmm. It's a fresh felony, right? Mm -hmm. So, and he even said it. He said, uh, he said, where you live at? I said, well, we live uh Kensington Bailey area. He said, oh my, he said, yo, I need somebody at this position right across mm -hmm. from the Galleria Mall. And I'm like, what? And he said, well, when you want to start? I'm playing around. I said, joking. right now. Right now. <laughs> you know what he did? All right, we'll fill out these W2 forms. <laughs> right now, 430. Right 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 right. And I was like this. Right. He looked yeah. at me. I'm thinking he's going to say, you can start Monday. Right. Give me enough time to. You know, I just said right now, just to be funny. Be like, God, like, God, right, oh, right now, right now, here you go. right now, right go. now, and, and that's like, how you gotta you ask Lord. God for your blessing. It gotta right be now. a right now. Right he now, was bro. joking um, a week ago when he told the man right now, but that's how God did it though. Right, he right opened now. his mouth and he spoke those things that were not. Right, good, that's but enough. Those things that are not as if they were. Let's bring that principle up too. Okay. Speaking. Oh, profes um, the profes yes. profession. Positively speaking, yes. what you know, now what face. you want, now yes. face. So that's also important. You can't be like, oh, I ain't gonna get no job. I wish, uh, yeah, want. yeah, because that's what our pastor was talking about today. Now, now right, right. right now, right now, you need some right, right now. now. Right. You gotta ask the Lord for it. Right, right now. now, just because it's Sunday doesn't mean that it can't be a check in your mailbox. Right. That's right. Stop depending on the mailman to bring you a check. Right. I, I have opened up my I check my mailbox seven days a week. Every time I walk out, I I know if people are watching me, you know you, you know people Inspecting be outside. And stuff, check out there for I some, always some check reason. my mailbox every time I go outside and I got the kids like that. Just check the mailbox. Well, I, got a, I got a little story about that. Mm -hmm. There was a time I was inspecting the check mm -hmm. and I was I guess my mind was the thing. I said, mm -hmm. they, well, they told me you're going to get this at this certain time. Okay. And I had a need. And I said, God, I really need this at this time. Mm -hmm. And and I'm like thinking, okay, it's not going to be here Saturday and Sunday. It'll probably get here Monday. Mm -hmm. All right. Now, I wait till Monday. Mm -hmm. And I check my mailbox. What I realized, it was there Saturday. Well, he had already provided. He already provided. Jehovah Jireh, my provider. So if I had with Saturday, I would have been. Bang! One time when right. I was expecting God to do something, but I didn't operate in faith fully and fully. Right, faith and, and I we do have Monday to operate. I, I'm thinking logically, well, it's gonna come in Monday. Right, right. right. And see, logic and faith don't mix. Right, right. Hear that? What Oil and water don't mix. Logic A lot of times, logic and faith don't mix. Faith yeah. is kind of you. It's all by yourself. That's the Don't pray. Don't uh, uh. Don't worry. Don't worry and pray. You can't worry and. If you're praying to God, I think, I think Jay Moss has a song yeah. called uh, "Don't." If you're gonna pray, you know, yeah. then don't worry, don't worry, yeah. you know, don't right. pray. But you gotta choose which one. What side are you gonna be on? Are you on God's side? Or are you on the devil's side? You gotta make a choice. You gotta make up your mind. If you want something from God, you gotta play on His team. And, yeah. you, and you gotta realize that if you if you are a child of God, and you know you're delighting yourself in Him. He's going to give you the desires of your heart. Right. You, you ask right. for it, he's going to give it to you. Right. So now when he wants you, you doubt, have it. When you right. doubt that thing, right. when you doubt that thing, that's the doubt of the devil. Right. right. And, and the devil throwing them little things in your head like, right. no, right. he can't do that. He, he can't. can't do it. And now you he won't get do it. that. He, that won't happen. Right. And so now that faith mm -hmm. is, is fading. Right. You know what I'm saying? That strong faith that you have when you're like, okay, well, I know the Lord going to do it. And all of a sudden you get that little doubt. Mm -hmm. Right. 
That's that devil right there. And I have to say, I, I want to give kudos to my family and my peeps. I call them my peeps. Because I know um, fate, it, it was fate that the reason why they're together and, even, and their family and tagging doing good and also my family together it, it had to take some fate. Now, were we perfect? No, I don't think I was perfect, but it was faith that got us here. We're here because of faith, because there was voices coming in to us, telling us other stuff, but we dared to trust God. Yeah. I know you dared to trust God. Um, that made it out because he dared to trust yeah, God. Yeah, and you know what? When, you, when you're... when you My thing is the Bible. That was my whole thing. Everything that I thought about as far as like marriage is concerned... I just continue to think about the word of the Lord. Mm -hmm. And for me, I personally wanted to walk away. Me too. Because me too. logically, right. not I know, I know what you said. But logically, logically, it makes more sense or it made right. more sense for me to have been left. Right. To have packed up my kids and went back to Detroit or to Atlanta or Logically. Birmingham or wherever or or wherever I wanted to go. I right. can move to Hawaii if I want to. Right. All I have to do is do, 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 do go on the internet, put my resume in, Skype in for a re uh, um an interview, you know, right. and it's, uh, get a job anywhere. Right. Get yourself started right. all over again. Right. And you can get a job because you got good communications and so that alone. So God you bless me with yeah. that. I can move to Hawaii too. I just gotta wait two years. <laughs> <laughs> but logically, though, and I, I mean logically, it could be the same thing for you too. I'm not saying like I'm better than you in a relationship because you could logically say the same thing. Right. Like you know, any, like, of us, I, any, of any of us have the opportunity to say when you're in a relation in a marriage to say, you know what? It's easy for me to just walk away from this. Yeah. It's easy to walk it's, away, and it's really easy for the man to walk away. Than the woman, it's easy because for one, it's socially acceptable. It's socially acceptable, which is right. sad, which but is it's sad. more socially acceptable. But from the woman's perspective, you think about, oh, well, she's got a, as long as she got a job, yeah. she'll get an income tax return. I'll just let her claim all the kids. Mm -hmm. That way, I don't have to be bothered. I'll yeah. go down to court. I'll let them let them know I can pay this, this tiny month, bit of child support, of child support right. and then I can still live and live, you know, however I want to live. And those thoughts, those thoughts, those thoughts went through my head. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I mean, I think yeah, they go through all of our all of our heads. You know, like yeah. this will be but easier. It's to how walk bad. Away. It's how is 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 for me. Mine was, you know, because while I was locked up, you know, I had the thought, and I had to, I had, I said, you know what? I told her, you go do what you gonna do. You know what I'm saying? Because when you're around a couple of people, when you're around a bunch of people that's going through the same thing and their spouse is out just doing what they do because you're locked up. That starts running through your head. The devil starts messing with you. So what I did was block it out. Here, go ahead, do what you're going to do because now I'm preparing myself. I'm building that, that shield, that bulletproof shield so if it comes down to that situation while I'm locked up, that either she's leaving me or she with somebody else, I'll be prepared. You know what I'm saying? So really you is... I had my armor on. Wow. You know what I'm saying? I had my armor on like boom. But then again, you know, I at the same time communicating with her, you know what I'm saying, made it a lot better. Because where I was at, I don't seen two people hang up over their girlfriends mm -hmm. and, and their wives out there doing something mm -hmm. while they was locked up. But with the communication with me and her. That's why I say communication has to be a lot. And then at the same time, you have to, once that communication comes in and you get a slight understanding, now you got to put that communication to work. You got to put them things that you've been saying and them things that you've been uh, talking about to work. Right, you can't just say, okay, when I'm coming big. home and selling her a dream on the phone, right. oh, baby and this, so, baby that, baby so, this, and, baby that. Let's take a pause. So I to have my okay, little no, it up. Going now. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Okay, okay. I'm over here like this. Mm -hmm. I'm going to just be a friend, you know, and listen to what he got to say. I'm going to have, I'm going to be guarded. I, I was guarded too. Because I'm like, well, for one, I know you can't, we being honest, right? Yeah, yeah. I know you can't provide for me. I right. know you're not going to come out and be like, here's the world right here. I'm going to give right. you everything that you want. You got to work to get that. And when God gave him that job, it was like, okay, the Lord is showing us that, Stroll, it's not about you. My job is not to be the provider. And so if we're going to live by the word, we got to live by the word totally and completely. And so I'm sitting here very vulnerable thinking like, 
you know, my people gonna be like, you idiot. What are you still staying around there for? You know, my family, my friends, they love me. Now she coming, Deeply. she's coming real and raw, y'all. She's been all transparent. But you gotta realize that that's not their marriage. I understand, and that's that's what, that's what this makes this it more totally, difficult. This though, is we going by this. But if we go on by said a man and woman, I should become one. one. Right. Clean. You know what I'm saying? So, 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 whoever else got anything to say, they can't say nothing. And that's where a lot of people mess up because oh, the yeah. other people come in oh, yeah. but to the marriage. Oh, yeah. right. But a lot of times and what they're the, saying, it it was, yeah. what they're saying, what I'm, what my thing is, don't make it true though. You know what I'm saying? Right. Don't make it worse than what it is because what the people, the people that love me, what they were saying was right. You know what yeah, I'm saying? But that, so that, it's like, it doesn't okay. doesn't have anything but, to do with But all I'm with saying that. is I had to take all of that right. and still have to take all of that mm -hmm. into consideration. Just because you get married, you don't block off the people that love you. You don't. You, and you can't you don't just, block even though you off. cleave one to another, right. you, you, still, you still have those people around you. And you, you have swear. to learn in a godly manner how to <sighs> hear what people are saying and how to but shield you know what? it if as well. If people would listen to other people... Honestly, if people would listen to other people, it'd be a lot more divorces around here. We should be listening to it God, so, but, people, but that's the problem. That's why the divorce rate is so high. That's because why people so are high. listening to so other people, people and that's they ain't nobody listening to God. God because right. if I was to listen to people, and, or let me just be honest, if I was to listen to myself, myself says yeah, peace. True. Also, right now, we what we brought, what they're bringing up. Like, this is really good. Um, this is kind of heavy because we too. know y'all going through it. We yeah. know. Yeah. We, we know, know y'all like we, we, okay, what they are doing is creating all the the, the nuances and um, things that happen, the pitfalls dealing with first dealing with us. You know, two first two people, and then the fight that we have, and then also people coming in telling you, girl or if man, don't do you don't have yeah. to take that. Why you do know, you deal you with that? You know how that? many times I heard man. I'm yeah, gonna just say, right. we. I think here, this circle right here, yeah. we all get that. Right, right. You know, right. because Girl, like, I, I heard it, that. you heard it, Man. he heard it. Yeah. You know, because everybody's looking. Because right. everybody, everybody love they people. You know right, what I'm saying? Right, right, My right, family right, loves me. Right. Your family loves you. Your family loves right, you, right. and they are in their hearts looking out for your best interest. Of course. But with that being said. All of us have to account for our own soul salvation. Right, so when I get to heaven, God is not going to be looking at me. I can't come over there and tell you. Yo, you need to get that together. You need to get rid of your wife. Right. That's, 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 that's not for us I to say. I can't say that. Right. We right. don't know. That's not for us right. to say. You can't say, you right. can say that. I and you might even have evidence right. to right. say that. Right. You're going to look at me like, who the hell are you? <laughs> right. You can't tell me. That's my wife. If I want to sit... And have a pity party. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Right. If I want to sit in, 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 or my husband is doing whatever he's doing, if I want to sit in it, I, I can sit in it if I want to. Right. Right. But Nobody wants to, to see you miserable, but, though. But right. But it's all about the change. Right. Right. And the everybody's change. looking for that. If, if you can't change. change, even though marriages go through a lot. Yeah. Well, let, me, let me just hold, hold on a second for a second. Because I... There was some this wasn't even a topic. What he just brought now. out, he said it's all about change. Now, the change may not come as big as each one of the partner, but if it's mm -hmm. going towards a right. little bit oh, here, a little good. bit there. Right. Because that's usually how it happens. That's right? how it happens. Right? A little right. bit here, a little right. bit there. Because for what I need, it's not going to, it can't, it is going to happen. No. Now, 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 what I want for my husband to provide for me and the children, he is going to provide it. Mm -hmm. I'm just going to leave it at that. I'm not going to even say anything negative. Right. I'm and he will. Positively. he will. God is going to he make will. sure that as the man of the house, he that he is able to provide. He will. That's right. That's the end of that story. Because you know why? Because I wanted to. Right. Mm -hmm. And not, not only you wanted to. No, no, no. God, God wants, wants you to. God no, no, wants God, to. God wants you to. But He wants you to be successful as His if son. If you don't want to change, right. you don't have to change. Right. right. Exactly. Just like when people they want to, they don't. Have, they don't. If they want to keep smoking, they're gonna keep smoking. Oh, I got you. You keep drinking, you are gonna keep drinking. You can't tell me what to do. Right. I'm gonna keep smoking and keep drinking. Right. right. But it only when you stop, it only comes from because you want it to right. stop. Right. Right. Mm -hmm. And you want to change. Mm -hmm. Right. I want to change for my family. I don't want my, I, you know, I love my wife and my children. I want to be with them. Right. Because it could have been easy. It could
could have been easy saying, you know what? All right, I can go do me. You go do you. I always, always say it like this, and you're right. You don't let me go do me. <laughs> you know what? No, I, I was preparing myself. <laughs> he was preparing himself. He was preparing himself. <laughs> well, hold on. What, 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 what I wanted to say was, is that um, what we realize is we realize how what we have is special. Mm-hmm. And once we realize that, then we want to do something about it. Now, um, we we can always um, make a choice to say, I want to do a new thing. But know that that new thing is going to take on challenges. Now you got that new thing. Mm-hmm. You got the old thing involved. Mm-hmm. When you got kids, now you got the kids. So now you got the kids and there could possibly be other kids. So mm-hmm. to me, Always in my mind, this ain't gonna get this. Ain't, no, no. What I'm saying is like, let's. Say, uh, I'm saying, supposing you, that said, you know what? I'm gonna do my own thing. You say, yeah, I'm gonna oh. do my own oh, thing. Oh, you talking about and, and me, I, and right, right. Happen. And I say, I'm gonna, you know, I'm gonna find me another lady. Right, right. And um, and yeah. my, and she gonna find you know, another I'm man. Get, get right. my man. And mm-hmm. now, I always look at it like this. That that ain't a better situation because now, now, yeah, you might feel. More at that moment, love, mm-hmm. but mm-hmm. um, but now you got two pe- more people involved. You got possibly more kids involved, uh, and then whatever, dangerous. whatever. See, at least when when right. it, when it's you two, whatever you guys had, whatever mm-hmm. curses or yeah. generational thing, you right. got to deal. But now right. when you bring other people in, now there's we're, more we're infecting more we're infecting and they're affecting. Mm-hmm. So I, that's how I always look with it. So always, always for me, it was like, oh, even though I don't feel like doing this, mm-hmm. it ain't gonna. I'm not gonna make this a better situation. But sometimes, mm-hmm. if if it's if it's now, you have relationships that are not gonna work. Oh, right, right, right. We know that. You know, we know that too. You, know that too. Right. you have a lot of relationships that are not gonna work. So that's why they end up in divorce. People are not going to work. They're not gonna do the work. They're to not make gonna it do work. work. That's that's. I think that would be the clarification. Because, right, that's so we don't God, use that as an excuse. You don't right. that it can't work. No, right. if we are men and women of God, and we know this by you know what the word says. says. You know we have to do that. Right. You right. made that commitment. That I need a copy of my vows. I need to know what I said. <laughs> because <laughs> because I honestly, get a copy of that again. Because I'll honestly, say. praying mm-hmm. prayer works, and you have to pray. About your situations. I know. To get better. Hey, Deb, I know there was many shows that we've done, and we discussed, like, different principles and things, and all, and it always seemed to come back to where we got a principle, we took a scripture out of the Bible, mm-hmm. and there was no escaping it. We have torn this oh, really? thing ha- have up. Haven't we? We, we, we have this torn it up. Because I know I've been trying to, like, okay. When, when it was, I could, I could go when this was on the show, you know, we was doing what we was doing, right. and then as it dwindled down, and it was just the two of us, and we was, I think every show, we had the same topic <laughs> <laughs> for like six months. At least we bring it up. We bring it up. But we had different scriptures, though. Like, every week, we was like, okay, well, what does the word, but we were eating, though, from the mm-hmm. word. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? We were feeding ourselves mm-hmm. God's word to keep mm-hmm. it holy, you know, because he's, we joined together in holy matrimony. Right. We didn't join together in, in matrimony. matrimony. Right. You know what I'm saying, Paige, high five, what? We <laughs> joined, joined together in holy matrimony. And so, the thing is, you gotta follow the laws of the land, the principles of which you ma- got married to that person. Some people write their own, own vows, for example. Mm, right, so that's go. what you, or, and some people don't even get married in churches. I Some know. people just go to the but justice now of the it's peace. Get, it's getting crazy. Some people, there. right, we're not going to go as far yeah, as that right crazy. now. But... Some people are not married under the rest- under what we right, married under. Right, right. And so when you marry under the principles of God, you got to follow the principles of God. You have to. Yeah, you got to follow. You can't go to a job and say, oh, I'm a nurse. And then, but this is the way they did it over at such and such. And so I'm going to run my unit like this. I'm going to be fired that day. Right. Yeah. I'm going to tell you another downfall. What I did was... Uh, for the longest, I have my car for maybe like two, three years now. And me and my daughters, you know, we got our cell phones or they got their little, and they want to play music. And we know that there's a, because I had an aux thing that we connect to aux. Mm-hmm. Somehow we're supposed to be able to hook our devices up and mm-hmm. play music in the car and, you know, be, right. ba- and be banging. Yeah. 
and almost three years, I decided mm -hmm. to get out the Bible of my car, mm -hmm. my my instruction, auto instruction, the car booklet, uh -huh. and read it. Wow. And I find out all it was, all I had to do was press a button for two seconds, uh -huh. and my aux will, will work. So let me get this straight. What yeah. you're saying is that you had this vehicle right. that you paying a lot of money right. for. Exactly. And you paying a lot of money for insurance. Exactly. And you putting gas into it. Exactly. Getting the tires rotated. Exactly. All, 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 on. all this work you right. getting them all this work. Right. And all it was was a simple little one line instruction that was right. easy to follow and you didn't all I had to do is read the book. Read the book. And that's what we're saying about our um, lives too, guys. Right. If you read the book, if you read this book, mm -hmm. you'll find instruction. There'll be something that will kind of guide you. Everything. Uh, everything. everything. There'll there. be something that will guide you, and, and you'll find, hold up, all, all I got to do is do this thing, mm -hmm. and this will work. And uh, do, do this thing, and that's what, I, what my, once I read my, my auto book, and I read, all I had to do is depress, actually it was depress the CD button for two seconds, <laughs> the auction should come on, and now everybody can hook up their device and right. play music, and, and we can have a good time. <laughs> right. And it took me three years it took you because three I didn't years. read my instructions. But let me tell you something. Don't don't be weary about that. It took the Israelites 40 years right. <laughs> to find mm -hmm. off score. But it don't have to take you that long. It doesn't have First to take of all, that you, long. You, you got us get, helping you a little bit, but more mm -hmm. importantly, we guiding you to instructions that will work. And that's mm -hmm. kind of what kept us. It's what kept us Our rooted and grounded. Kept, you know, it's kept Sharon, us, I think the kept biggest thing that I really like family. what you said is it kept us from involving other people. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Because it could have been some detrimental. Not only that, that not happened. only that for 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 Cal, for me, because at one point I was thinking about dating other women, and the mm -hmm. Bible says, um, when I read the Bible, you marry, you can't date no other woman. Right. Mm -hmm. Right. I was thinking about it. Doesn't it. matter what the situation is. I was thinking, or at least setting up for it. Right. That you have to. You either you have to separate, mm -hmm. then come back for reconciliation. Right. Right. Reconciliation. Right. That's right. right. You have to come back. So that's the right. moment. Don't happen through. again. You got to go back out and separate until right. so you can read. You know what right. I'm saying. So, so what about fasting and praying? A lot of times we think about fasting only in the context of the church itself. No. But the fa the family, I I'm talking about the world. Yeah, you can. But the family needs to fast and pray. Mm -hmm. If you have a, a difficult difficulty with your relationship, mm -hmm. you know, so fast and thing. pray. Go fast to the pray. Lord and ask God to give you the, you know, how uh, you got to communicate though. You, you can't it. just be like, well, right. I'm fasting on you. Right. Okay? <laughs> <laughs> I'm about to fast <laughs> on you. Okay? <laughs> We did, but she's right. You can't now, and also, that had at the beginning of the show. He said prayer. So essential. Yeah. Now I'm finding like, cause now, okay, I'm I'm back with my wife, right? Mm -hmm. And everything's going good. But then there's times when I'm 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 not feeling her. She's not feeling me. And mm -hmm. I'll go. <laughs> and and if I have the whole family, I do what you said. We get and we pray. Right. And we'll pray about it. Now it. I had it just recently. Yesterday, mm -hmm. I, had, I woke up, wasn't feeling, you know, right, and I kind of snapped at my wife, and she, of course, snapped back. Yeah. <laughs> nope. <laughs> and then, I, I was dealing with me, I made a call, I said, honey, when I get home, we want, I want to come talk. So, first thing, get home. That's right. Get home. So, honey, I want to talk, I, I want you to know how I was feeling. I know I was feeling a certain kind of way. You were feeling right. a certain That's kind of way. That's how you do it. I did that the other day too. Yeah, and, but that's what we got to do, and especially us because we leaders. That's right. Especially us. That's right. So, um, I'm feeling that. Yeah. <laughs> but anyway, <laughs> so <laughs> I'm gonna let them have. Uh, 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 we we gotta have that moment. I'm gonna give you that uh, moment. But just to go in depth about that, so go. And I said, mm -hmm. "Honey, I was feeling a certain way." But mm -hmm. before we even discuss, let us pray, and we was able to pray right. yeah. for you know about sure. fifteen minutes. And then, mm -hmm. okay, let me lay on here how I was feeling, why mm -hmm. I was feeling. And she told me, blah 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 blah, and and it kind of worked itself off. Sure. But it took the prayer, right? Mm -hmm. Going to God first, like God, you got to help us with this, and then communicating, like mm -hmm. that said, right. like and let go of your expectations, ladies. That was good information, but that was a little dead still in there. Yeah, you gotta watch that. Listen, that, that was good info, 
It was a little dense. Too, but see me, <laughs> when we went through our little thing, you know, I was, I was, we was out and, you know, something didn't happen. You know what I'm saying? What I expected to. And I was feeling some type of way. Right. Which, you know, I, I shouldn't have been, but we have feelings. Right, we do have. We she know has feelings. Have feelings. Yeah, I didn't know. We, we do have feelings. feelings. We have feelings, so, whatever, yeah. <laughs> so, 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 you know, I powered it all the way home. <laughs> I did. I ain't saying yes, nothing. Did. I ain't you know, nothing. I powered it Oh, but boy, can I pout. Oh, yeah. But, you know, I came, you know, when I came in the house, she went in the room. I sat right there. And I had this, you know, the spirit said, you want to change? Yeah. You got to stand up and you got to be the bigger person. Yeah. And you got to go in there and tell. So and that I went same Holy Spirit this was like, talking to me yeah. too. you know what? And I told her. I said, listen. I said, I'm sorry. I said, I was feeling some type of way. I thought this thing was supposed to happen this way. And I was feeling some type of way. I didn't mean it, you know, to take it out on you, blah, 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 blah. And you know what? And and you know, and she stood up and she gave me a hug. Oh, you know nice. what I'm saying? And I was like, okay. I'm not you know, right. Oh girl. Right. I know. <laughs> and I was like, you know what? And that felt good, right? So now that you know, all of them is not gonna work like that, people. <laughs> right, right. That's good too. That's good. That's good too. <laughs> There's one right there. That was good. Like, all of them not gonna work, but you gotta continue. But you gotta continue. Right. You right. have to continue. Because I was like this. You only been out for like less than two months. Are you tripping on me? <laughs> <laughs> you know, but that's the way, you know what I'm saying, humans are. Right. right. Humans have their own. I can't tell you. Just like Not the other day, feelings. you know what I'm saying? You was feeling the way you did. What did I do? I come and sat right on that chair and I went to sleep. Because sometimes, you know what I'm saying, when you're looking at a person and you be around some people, you know them. So you know something is wrong. So you be like, you know what, let me give her. A little Let's space. Build this thing. Right. Mm-hmm. Sing the song. And you know what though? And it ain't even got to be mm-hmm. noticeable that you're giving that distance. Right. right. And and I actually Just I knew it. I second. knew what he was doing, you know, but I appreciated it at the same time. And I don't think that that's even a marriage thing. That's just a friendship piece right, right there. Right. You right. know, when you know if you know me so well, if you know when you know your friends. You need to be able to back up away from them. Just like you can tell right. when I'm happy, you can tell when I'm in a in a mood. Right. Even if it's the other person's fault. Or even uh-huh. sometimes don't get into whose fault it is. We always battle. Right, you know, right, and right. trying to be right all the time and right. trying to get the last word. Right. Enough with that. Right. We 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 done suffered a lot from that. Yeah. And, hey, what's not, the name I mean, of this show? The guys from party. Well, where's the party? Oh, <laughs> 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 this is the party. This, this is, is the party. party. People, this, we do our party different. You used to party in, in the world. <laughs> this is the gospel. This so listen to this though. I haven't, yo, I haven't been, you know, because I used to, fellas, you know, I, I know some of y'all do it. So don't, when I tell you this, don't sit up there and be like, oh, he is foul. He foul. You know, I used to tell my wife all the time, I'll be right back. Somebody is cracking up right now, yeah. crying. Listen, I used to tell That was I'll his right famous back. line. And I wouldn't come back until wee hours in the morning. But you know what? And it was just me out there hanging with my fellas, getting drunk, you know what I'm saying, doing nothing. Wow. Right. But you know what? When I came... It's 8 o'clock. When I was in jail, I said, I'm not going to do that no more. Mm-hmm. And you have to make that change. And, man, you know what I did? Yeah, I went to go uh, holler at my friends for a minute. But you know what? Who was with me? Huh. My wife and my kids. Awesome. Awesome. You know what I'm saying? My wife and my kids. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? And you know what? I often say that when you are in a marriage, you can't... I think people define marriage very differently than they define friendship. What is God talking about? Hello, this is the gospel party. Who's on the line? This is Lisa. Lisa! Lisa. Ah, hey, girl! Hey, y'all! What up? Hey! <laughs> Good to hear from you. Good to hear from you. Okay. I know! Hey, Lisa, here's what we're going to do when we hear your voice. We know we got to get in transition. So, um, we're going to go for a break. Let's we're gonna do it. We're going to go to the party. 
music video. The party part of it. The party part of it. Music uh, video, and then we're going to come back with your um, your um, promo, promo, and then we're going to talk real talk with Lisa Edmonds. This is the Gods Party All Marines Radio. Dot com in the place to be. What you want, pause or something? <laughs> <laughs> you want <a> pause? <laughs> Multiplies my eyes, my eyes. He reached down and grabbed the mud. I cried, I cried when I understood his love. Then my crying turned to laughter, and I realized soon after that the fear and pose was just a pose. You were not a factor, but an actor. At the final scene, you won't be around. You and death won't make a sound. It's a long way. This is Gossip Party Hall of Lanes Radio dot com. Uh, we got Lisa Eddie Ripson in the house. What's up, Lisa? Hello, everybody. I miss you guys. Miss you too. I miss How you are too. you? Hey yo, hold on. Before you start, Lisa. Lisa, Lisa. Miss Lisa. And we're not expecting to see sunshine until what Tuesday, but it did peak out just a little bit today. Hey, Lisa. Lisa. Hello? I can't hear you. It's kind of like breaking up. Say that again. Lisa. Can you hear me? 
not really, it's really breaking up really uh, bad. Hold, hold on, Lisa. Can you hear me, Lisa? Okay, let me let me see what I can do here. Let me see if I can change something. I maybe bring down this a bit. All right, Lisa, you hear us a little better now? Because you're coming in nice and clear. You really mm -hmm. are. Lisa, can you hear us? It could be wet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do that, do that, Lisa. Um, call back and maybe it's where you at or something. Because you're coming in good for us. You really are. Hello? All right, she might have hung up. All right, this is God's Party, Harlem Lanes Radio dot com. Coming back to you, us. Yeah, let's. And Lisa's going to call back. Sometimes it's just um, where the phone is at. Because she's coming in good for us. So we're picking up there. Let's see if that probably helped. All righty, Lisa, are you there? Hello? Hello, Lisa, are you there? Hello, Lisa. Oh, I can only hear like every other word. Oh, I don't. Uh, okay, I don't. You should be coming in good. You should be coming in good. Although the bandwidth is a little low right now, so I don't know what's going on. Uh, let me let me do this. You know what? Let me let me take this off. Let me take some of my programs off because uh, sometimes it could be crazy stuff like that. But this is the gospel party. Let me. I'm gonna go to a music video. And let's see if we can get this all figured out. And we'll be right back. The Gospel Part 10.